Okay, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to call this a, a GMS stock exchange. All right. And uh, Lord willing, this will be like a, a little thing I do, an ongoing series, you know, uh, in which when you look up uh, what a stock exchange is, it, this, our stock and trade, if you will, or stock is uh, the scriptures, you know, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, which is not comparable to gold, silver, you know, rubies, things of that nature. That's our stock. Um as well, uh, and the word exchange is just that, it's an exchange or a trade, you know, um, so hey, the scriptures tell us not to uh, hold back on the pound and we were supposed to, you know, make more pounds. So this is a stock exchange. I learned something new, you know, which is the stock, you know, and then I give it as an exchange to uh, a brother, you know, to whom may have a, uh, this, whom, you know, um, comes across this video, if you will. You know, and the thing I want to touch on is something that, you know, obviously I just learned for myself. You know, I want to share with Akim is uh, I'm going to start here. Genesis 22 and 1. It says, and it came to pass after these things that the Most High did tempt Abraham and and said unto him, Abram, Abraham, sorry. And he said, behold, here I am. And he said, take now thy son, thine, own, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him. There for a burnt offering upon one of one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Right now, the thing is, when I uh, as I was reading this, the spirit had it to where I said, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look up the word or that place, that place, Moriah. In the Hebrew, see, this is why uh, uh, going into words, going into the Hebrew is. um Is important. You know, because it opens up a deeper understanding of the scriptures, you know, uh, knowing locations as well as this one we have before us. You know, uh, so Mariah is a uh, Mawa, it's a uh, Mawa Raya, Mawa Raya. Now, when you go into the word, it stems from two words. Well, I'm sorry, really three. So you have, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. It is three. It is three, you know, because the ma and the prefix is of or from, right? And then you have ra'a, which the word ra'a means to see. And then ya as a suffix, as you can see here. See, it says English, Lord, English, Lord, ja. And then you have, let me see if this one pops up. Yep, English, see, look. I didn't even know it does this. It did this part. English, see. I'm going to pull it up again. Look, behold, show, appear, consider, see, spy, respect, perceive, pro provide, uh, regard, enjoy, lo, foreseeth, heed, you know, so on and so forth. Now, when you deal with the word, it, it literally translates to of uh basically what it says is uh of see the most high where the most basically uh uh where the most high looks at the end of the day because ra means to see it basically just basically means where the most high looks now let me get this scripture real quick this is uh deuteronomy you know now what i did was i scrolled down this is why it says chosen Chosen by Yahweh, which this is kind of going off, but it's still the same uh, uh, aspect, if you will. It's still saying the same thing, right? So it says the place where Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, right? Now check this one out. It says the Mount of Eastern Edge of Jerusalem on which Solomon built the temple. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. See, the Most High, you know, he does things in a... Uh, in a domino effect aspect. He does one thing to set up a reason for another. All right. Now I want to get this scripture real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 11. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Verse 12. Right. In Deuteronomy 11 and 12. A land. Right, right, right. Deuteronomy 11, 11. But the land whither ye go to possess it. It is a land of hills 
and valleys and drink of water of the rain of heaven, a land which Yahweh thy power careth for. See, the eyes of Yahweh, that thy power are always upon it from the beginning of the year, even unto the end of the year. Where is that talking about? It's talking about Israel, but ultimately Jerusalem. Ultimately, it's talking about Jerusalem. You know, and I know what, uh, what proves that is, you know, Isaac was the, uh, 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 the chosen seed. And that's what it said in Galatians, the third chapter, you know, it was, it said that what Jerusalem, I don't have to get to it, go to it. Brothers should know that scripture that Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Why did it say Jerusalem was the mother of us all? Because, uh, uh through Isaac shall, shall thy seed be called. And where, where did, where did Isaac, where was, uh, Isaac established? Where, where was the seed being called at? At this place right here in Jerusalem, because that's why it says uh, Genesis. We'll go back to Genesis 22, right? Genesis chapter 22. No, I think it's. I'm sorry, Genesis 21 and 12. And, and the Most High said unto Abram, Let it be not grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because he was uh, disappointed that he was getting rid of. Uh, Ishmael, right? It says, and because of thy bondwoman, in all that Sarah hath say, said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thou see be called, and also the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because of, he is thy seed. Right, now, going back to uh, Genesis, the 22nd chapter, and we'll go to uh, verse 2, it says, and he said, take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, which we know that this is basically where the place where the Most High looks, right? It says, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of, right? It says, and Abram rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son, and clave to the wood for the burnt offering, right? And rose up and went unto the place of which the Most High had told him. Then on the third day, Abram lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Still talking about uh, Mara'iah. All right. Mara'iah. Right. It says, uh, it says, and, Abram, and Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. See? They went to Moriah and they went there to worship. And that word worship, when you look it up, I think it's Shekha, which means to uh, bow. All right. And that's where they went to go. Uh, 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 Abraham went to attempt to sacrifice Isaac. Now, jumping forward to uh, I'm going to jump up. This is a uh, verse 16 after the angel of the Lord hindered Abraham from sacrificing his son, Isaac. The angel of the Lord came and stopped him. And then this is what uh, they told him. It says, and said by myself. Verse 16, and said by myself, have I sworn, saith Yahweh, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee and multiply, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of the, his enemies. See, and that's very act in this very place was the establishment of the nation of Israel, Moriah. Now, I want to go to the part where, you know, where it talked about this is the same place with Solomon, who we know in the spirit is who? Yahweh Shai, who also, too, we know in the spirit is Isaac. All right. I'm going to prove that real quick. This is uh, <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter one. This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generations, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the son of David and the son of Abraham. See, we have Solomon here, which is the son of David, establishing uh, the Lord's temple in Jerusalem. It says, look, then Solomon began to build the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, where Yahweh appeared unto, his, unto David, his father, in the place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite. See, plain and simple, man. See, plain and simple. Now, as another point that I want to get 
that touches onto this part, right? And we uh, also know that again, you know, Abraham, the son of the, the father of Isaac, which is you know Yahushad as well. Now another part I want to get, you know, this is uh, some of this is on the fly, some of this is you know, uh, uh preordained if you will. This is uh First Kings chapter eight should be. Right. Uh, this should, give me one second. Right, right. Now we established already what that Solomon built the temple in this place, Mount Moriah, where Abraham was going to do the sacrificing. You know, and this is also too Jerusalem. I don't know if this is the same exact place, but Jerusalem is the place where Yahweh Shai. Excuse me. Jerusalem is the place where Yahweh Shai was sacrificed oh, oh, oh yeah he was sacrificed unto the nation of israel he was put up on the cross as that uh as that lamb right now now check this out it says uh first kings 8 and 30 it says if they sin against thee right uh uh this is solomon this is solomon's prayer you know it, it talk, speaking unto the children of israel speaking to the yahobashim yahshai Speaking unto Yahweh, if you will, on behalf of the children of Israel. And that's what it says. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they will carry captives, and repent and make supplication to thee, unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive saying we have sinned and have done perversely we have committed uh wickedness and so return unto thee with their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them captives and pray unto thee toward the land their land which thou gavest their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and thy house uh, which I have built for thy name. Right. And that was the point. See, that's the reason. That's a, This is another reason why we face Jerusalem, man. This is the same place where uh, uh, the, the covenant of uh, uh, between the Most High and Abraham was established. This is the same place where Solomon built the temple. This is the same place where Yahweh Shai was put up on the cross. All right. But yeah, that, that was uh, ultimately the point. You know, let me see something else real quick. You know, so essentially when we look towards Jerusalem, we're looking towards the heavenly, where, where the heavenly father is looking as well. You know, it's like we're looking eye to eye now, so to speak, you know, because the scriptures say nobody sees the most high's face and live. So we're not, we don't literally look into his eyes, but we look towards where he's looking at, you know, to get that connection back. You know, because essentially this is that obviously is that's a, a holy place. That's a holy place. You know, um, let me see something real quick. I don't want to be make this too long. It's supposed to be a quick. You know, uh, yep. Well, yeah, this is Zechariah uh, 2 and 8. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoil you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. See? Why? Because Jerusalem is a people before, it's, uh, 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 before a place. And essentially, Jerusalem, that's where the Most High looks. So, the, the, you know, uh, uh, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is looking at Jerusalem, man. You know, but with that, I want to uh, give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honest, our apostles and elders, great millstone, Lord willing, this was edifying, and uh, feel free to, you know, comment, you know, again, this is a stock exchange, man, you, you, you know, each one teach one, how they say, uh, 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 out there in the streets, if you will, all right, uh, Shalom.